pouring a pineapple pale ale with a mocha-infused stout on the same episode, we must be barking up the wrong tree. Or barking mad. Well, Sue Barker me, because we're doing it. Welcome to Pint Sized Barkshire. Welcome to the show. So West Berkshire is a pretty rad place. Uh, it appears under W in an A to Z list of local government districts. Uh, it's West of Berkshire. And uh, its crest features a corn. Chris Tarrant's from there. So is Will Young. I don't know. What the fuck? And its highest point is 297 metres. That's pretty shit. There's also a village called Inkpen and a river called Pang. That's cool. But arguably the best thing about West Berkshire, we think, is the West Berkshire Brewery. Back in 1995, the West Berkshire Brewery was created and they set out on a journey dedicated to producing quality beers, striving towards a sustainable future. Their range is kind of split down the middle. On one side, you've got your best bitters, some milds, traditional stouts. And then on the other side, whoa! You've got crafty Keller beers, mocha stouts, pineapple pails, black IPAs, you know the deal. We've got a couple on the show today, so let's get going. First up, the wonderfully named Tropic Like It's Hot. This is a 4.8% pineapple pale ale. Yep. Featuring Vic's Secret, Summit, Chinook, and Mosaic Hops, and dry hopped with Sriracha Ace and 60 kilos of pineapple. What? On the other side, we've got the Stay Grounded Mocha Imperial Stout. Boy, oh boy. This is a 10% Imperial Stout with coffee from pharmacy based in Hove, and this one is full of yuangan beans, giving an aroma of roasted almond and a lingering bitterness. I'm sure to agree, these cans are beautiful. The other ones in the range are just as great. And I kind of like the traditional style uh, they've got on, as I said, on the best bitters and, and the miles and things like that. It's a brewery that reminds me of Arundel Brewery, which we've had on the show before. They've got their traditional wing, producing some delicious, mmm, oh, delicious cask, cask beers. And then on one side, they've gone, What's that triple IPA with walnuts and, and gravel? So without further ado, let's get these West Berkshire Brewery beers. Here's some receptacles, put them in my gusset. So here we go, the Tropic Like It's Hot Pineapple Pale Ale, 4.8% from West Berkshire Brewery. Uh, a little blurb on the back, it's a pineapple explosion in your mouth with coconut undertones, thanks to the Sriracha Ace Hops. It's light, fruity and crushable at 4.8%. So there we are in the glass, the Tropic Like It's Hot Pineapple Pale Ale. Nice bit of haze on there. Uh, lively coming out the glass. Decent head, two fingers worth. Quite creamy. But yeah, lovely haze, little bit of carbonation, nice golden colour. Matches the shirt. Unintentional. Let's give it a smell. Oh, okay, it's on my nose. Oh, pineapple. Pineapple sweets. Pineapple cola, pineapple cola cubes. What the fuck? Pineapple cubes. Are they called anything? Pineapple cola cubes? Pineapple cubes. Imagine the party food, pineapple and cheese. Without the cheese, the pineapple. Yeah, uh, a bit bready, hay, grassy. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a crunchy, fresh delight. I think this one. Oh yeah, pineapple's the overriding, overriding thing going on there. Cheers. Oh, okay. Uh, where's my pineapple and cheese gone? <coughs> where's my pineapple and cheese gone? Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. There's a. Yeah. Oh, it's quite boozy, quite bitter. It's kind of a slightly off pineapple. You've opened the tin. You've made your delicious pineapple and cheese snack. You put the pineapple back in the fridge. A week passes. You open the fridge. It doesn't taste as 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 pineapple-y anymore. It's no bad thing. Mm. It's a bit unusual. I think it's maybe a little bit too bitter. I was expecting a nice pithy, fruity pineapple, especially from the look of it. It's just, I think it's just a bit too tar. I mean, mouthfeel and texture-wise, you've definitely got a kind of pithy, a thick fruit juice uh, kind of feel sensation to it. I think it's just lacking a bit on the flavour. I was expecting a delicious juicy fruity. Fruity juicy. Instead I got slightly, uh, it's kind of pineapple juice that's been in the car and it's warmed up. You've had a hot day down in Sorkham. Oh, uh, you've, got, you've got back in the car and you thought, oh, delicious pineapple juice. And it, uh, it's got a bit funky. Okay, and next up from the West Berkshire Brewery, we've got this Stay Grounded Mocha Imperial Stout, a collaboration with Pharmacy, who uh, roasted and prepared the coffee to go in this one. 
Dark as a lunar eclipse, this decadent mocha imperial stout is abundant with rich coffee and chocolate flavours derived from the yuangan beans. Aromas of roasted almond tempt you in, and the lingering bitterness pulls you back for more. Why not try and put some away for next year? Oh, fuck. Another lovely can design on this one. You've got a pink panther, a, a hummingbird, and some sort of snake. Oh, I hope Disney know about this one. Big shout out to the West Berkshire Brew uh, crew on Instagram for sending these ones down. Thanks guys, and thanks for the ladies t-shirt. I'll be sure to put it on my cat. There we are, black as night. Uh, they describe it as onyx, which is a lovely descriptor of that color. Look at that head as well, lovely tiny bubbles, almost probably about half a finger's worth, maybe a finger. Dark brown, beige, and yeah, that's, that's just black as night. That's a beautiful thing. Oh yeah, let's give it a whiff. Whoa, that's, oh, okay. Super nutty spread, nutty buttery, almost vanilla-y. It has got that kind of almond sweetness. I've got a Battenberg, but there ain't no grapefruit. What's the pink flavor of that? I don't fucking know. No apricot, I think. Yeah, just rich coffee, cherry, mm, roasted. Yeah, there's a nice kind of vanilla on there as well. Yeah, I'm loving that. Cheers. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, it's making my tingles nipples. Oh, that is thick and creamy, nutty and buttery. Coat in my mouth. Oh, it's 10% I forgot. Real epic bitterness, but it really works on this one. Perhaps more than the previous. Oh yeah, mm. super strong coffee. Nutty, little bit of vanilla, little bit of cherry. Real bite to it, nice alcohol bite as well. Mm. Yeah, lovely mouthfeel, lovely looking beer. Oh, I'm gonna stop because that's gonna tootle my rondons. That well, major contrast there from West Berkshire Brewery. We've got the heavy hitting Mock Imperial Stout in collaboration with Pharmacy. Oh, I think they nailed that one exactly what you want from a 10% super booze coffee beer. And perhaps the pineapple pale ale. I don't know whether it maybe I'd had it in the cupboard for too long. It's been a few weeks, maybe a month. Uh, but yeah, I think it was just lacking, maybe a little bit too tart for me. We kind of want something a bit more fruit, fruit pale ale. But <coughs> but very crushable, easy drinking as well, and nice looking too. I'm sure that matters when <coughs> Oh my god, what's happening? As I said, thanks to West Berkshire Brewery on Instagram for sending those ones across. And um, really enjoyed trying them. And there's a couple of other collaborations. There's a collaboration with Adnams, which I think you can still pick up in Waitrose, um, which is well worth a try, and a double IPA, I think, as well. Mm -mm. They're a brewery well worth checking out either on cask or their crafty cans too. Let me know in the comments if you've tried West Berkshire Brew stuff before. Uh, and that just leaves me to say, subscribe if you like what we saw, like us on Facebook, Pint Size Thinking, and Instagram, Pint Size Picks. Follow me on Twitter as well for gifts uh, at Ollie Hayden. And I'll see you all again next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you've noticed a slightly different audio visual effect. That's because we've ditched the little fuzzly muffler uh, on top of the cam and gone back to what we had when we first started. This! Oh. Let me know uh, if it's any different, because I don't know. I can't hear out of either my ears. So apologies if there's some issues with this first episode. I'm obviously recording it blind, which is pretty dumb. I don't know if it's worked. This whole thing could be completely silent. In which case, I hope they play my favourite songs over my voice. I can see a new horizon underneath your face.